Hi everyone, welcome to a Y Thrive video. Today we have a grow workout, and here's what I need you to do. I need you to go get a ball. I'm using a soccer ball. I'd say a soccer ball or a basketball, that size of ball would be great. All you need is your body weight, nice clear area, and a ball. So pause the video, go grab the ball, set up your area, and then meet me back and start the video up again, okay? All right, let's get started. So we'll start, you know, for our warm up, we'll just set the ball aside. And we're just gonna warm our body up, we'll get ready. So today we have some mini circuits. So moving those arms forward, just nice big circles. We have some mini circuits. So we're gonna be doing 30 seconds of three different exercises, taking a break, and then repeating those, second, those three exercises a second time. And we have three different pairings to do. So nice about 20 minute workout together. And then you're free to go on with your day, okay? Let's reverse those arm circles now, going backwards. Alright, good. Let's do a forward lunge with a little bit of a twist, so it looks like this, just stepping forward, just nice and small, and then twisting towards the leg that you bring forward. So I'm bringing my left leg forward, twisting to the left, just like that, okay? So give me a few of those. Nice. Let's do one more each side. Awesome. Let's just do a um, nice wide angle with the legs, and then I want you to just reach towards the opposite foot with your hand. Just come down until you feel a gentle stretch in the back of the legs. Some of you might be able to get to your toes, some of you not. The main thing is don't round out that low back, so just come down where you can still have a good posture. I don't want you to slouch like that, all okay? right? Perfect. All right, give me 15 seconds of jumping jacks to finish up our warm up. You're doing great. Good, five seconds. All right, let's get that ball. So excited, are you guys ready? Bring it, let's go. All right, first exercise is gonna be a squat with a chest pass, but you're not actually gonna let go of the ball. So it'll be like this, squat, and push it out. Come nice and deep if you can. Bring your hips down and back. We're doing 30 seconds, and then we'll have a few seconds to transition to our next exercise, okay? So challenge yourself to move as quick as you can and get as deep as you can. It shouldn't hurt though. Last one, good. All right, next we're gonna move into a plank and we're gonna move the ball back and forth. So I'll show you from the side of it, it'll look like this. And move the ball across. If that's too hard, just bring your knees down. Let's go. If you can though, go from the toes. Moving that ball with the free hand, back and forth. So you feel this in your tummy, drawing that belly button in. Good, couple seconds left. Good, rest. All right, next we're gonna just place that ball right in the center of your working area, and I want you to hop over it. If you're nervous of tripping, just jump from behind it, but just imagine like you're going over top of it, okay? And of course, to make this harder, you can go faster or you can go bigger. All right, do what's a good challenge for you. 10 seconds. You got it. Last one. All right, now you're gonna get a 35 second rest and then we're gonna do that one more time. How you guys feeling? Good, all right. So yeah, if anything felt too hard, pick a little bit of an easier option. So with the squats, that would be just make it slower and smaller versus deep and big. Or with the planks, go to the knees or even just forget about the ball altogether. 
And then with the hops, just make them smaller if you need to. Don't worry about hopping over a ball. Pick what's right for you. All right, let's get to work. In three, two, one, let's go. Squat, chest pass. Come on, come on, let's go. And if you find this too easy, you can always add a little bit of a jump in. I don't find it too easy, so I'm gonna just do the, do the squat with you. That's plenty hard for me. Five seconds. Whew, we got it. Transition to the floor. Planks with that ball move. Or just plank from the knees if you need to. 30 seconds starts. Or if you want, you can add moving that ball. Good work. Come on, you can do it. Stick with it. So if you hear people talking about core strength all the time, this is the best core movement you could do for your body. All right, rest. Quick transition now. Back to that hop over. Here we go. Then you get another rest, so don't hold back. Come on. Yes, we got this. We're in it together. Really high if you want. 10 seconds to go to the rest. Take a breather. Good, we're done with those exercises. And you get a 30 second break here. Nice, three new exercises. We're gonna do a lunge, like we did in the warm up with a ball twist. We're gonna do a bear crawl. And then we're gonna do some body weight swings with the ball, okay? Catch your breath, get a drink of water if you need it. Join me in a few seconds here. All right, ready to go in three seconds. We're gonna do lunge with a twist. So, one leg comes forward, twist that leg and back. Moving nice and quick. Don't rush it though. Get nice and deep into the squat. I'll show you from the side. So you notice that knee stays behind the toes. You're not shooting forward. And you sink down. Come on, you got it. Three seconds left. Awesome, okay. Next we're gonna do a bear crawl. You can do it with or without the ball. Starting with me now, bear crawl looks like this. If you need to make it a little easier, you can let your hips come up. But the harder option is to keep those hips in line with the shoulders. So your hips are a little closer to the ground. 10 seconds. Come on. Almost there. All right, you made it. And of course, like I said, those, those body weight swings. Here we go, 30 seconds. Move quickly. So this time it's not a squat. You're tipping at the hips. You're not flexing at the knees. So you should feel this in the back of the legs as the muscles lengthen and contract. This will also rev your heart rate up, which is great. Five seconds, come on. All right, good work. You get a full 35 second break now, okay? So just chill, catch your breath, get a drink of water. We'll go through those three moves. One more time. Again, pick the options. Like I said in the first round, if anything feels too hard, make it a little slower, a little smaller. Pick the easier option, or you can take the ball out of it so there's not as much to think about for you. Or if you need to challenge it, move a little bigger, move a little faster. Pick the harder option. Okay, let's go, lunge with twist. Here we go. Bring on that strength in the legs and the ability to twist our body. Come on. 
Let's get it. You're doing great. Keep working hard. Nice, five seconds. You did it. Bear crawl, getting ready on the ground with me. Let's go, 30 seconds. And if the ball gets away from you, that's okay. You can go get it. Or just do it without the ball until you get a chance to reset. Again, you can leave those hips up if you need it to be a little easier. Or bring them down if you want that challenge. And we're break. Perfect. Last time, swings. Here we go. A little side view for you there. So we're tipping at the hip, moving really quick. Come on. You get a full break after this, so push hard. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Nice, you made it, good work. Done with those moves. That feels good, right? Last three moves of the day. Just watch me, grab a drink, catch a break. You still have 30 seconds of rest, okay? All right, we're gonna do a ball back and forth. Ideally, I want you to use your hands if you can. So you're gonna be squatting deep and using your hand to put it back and forth. If you can't quite get low, then you can use your feet to dribble it but if you can, use your hands, okay? That's gonna be our first movement. Our second one, we're gonna be doing some frog jumps where we touch the, the ball to the ground and then we're gonna do a core exercise to finish. Here we go. Side to sides with the ball. 30 seconds, come on, work fast. Really fast if you can. Hopefully, you can move really quick. Maybe some of you are even going quicker than me, which is great. Come on, 10 seconds, get it, get it, let's go. Good work, everyone. Final few seconds. All right, quick break. Then we're gonna do those moving frog jumps. I'll show you from the side. So you're gonna jump, touch the ground. All right, so jump any way you want. Let's go, 20 seconds left, okay? If you need to, you don't have to squat as deep and just move forward, but if you can, get that ground touch in there. And move any direction you want. So it could be sideways, could be forwards, just mix it up. Three seconds. Good. All right, coming down to the ground, we're gonna finish with toe touches with a little twist. So I'll show you from straight on, look like this. And you're gonna reach the ball as high as you can to each side, okay? And I'll show you from the side as well. Break comes up after this. Shoulder blades come up off the ground, shoulders come off the ground. Come on, five seconds. Rest. Okay, get a full break here. We do those three exercises one more time. And then that's it for all the hard work today. Pretty good, right? You made it, you're almost there. Okay, we hit the ball back and forth. It was our first movement. But I really just want you to catch your breath so you can bring your best effort to this last set. You guys feeling good? All right, bring your A game here. Dial this in, give me your best, all right? Starting in three, two, one. Let's go side to side. Good. Come on. Quick, quick feet. Good. You'll notice I reset between each time touching it a little bit. I can help take the pressure off your low back if you need to. Five seconds. 
and stop. All right, those moving frog jumps. This time, let's just go straight forward and back. So, hopping forward, touch, hopping forward, and then hopping back, okay? A little frog jumps. Legs are pretty tired by this point, so this might burn a little. That's good. Means you're working hard. 10 seconds, last time. Hang on. Three seconds, you can do it. All right, last exercise for the day. Whew, here we go. Up high and reaching outside each, each foot, okay? You got it. Last few seconds of the class. Awesome. You did it. You don't need that ball anymore. I'm rolling mine away. How you feeling? Great job. You got through all the hard work. Now let's just catch our breath. Do a nice little gentle stretch for our body. Make sure we release any tension, any soreness we built up, okay? Sound good? All right, let's start. Knees nice and wide, big toes together. Walk those hands forward, come back into a child's pose. Breathing nice and deep through this whole cool down, okay? And then coming into Cobra, or baby Cobra, so it can look like this. Or if you're flexible enough, you can bring your arms up, straighten them out, look up to the sky. All right, back into child's pose. Keep breathing nice and deep. All right, last time, Cobra. Feels nice, eh? Hey? Let's do a little cat and cow stretch so we'll release any tension in our spine. Start by rounding out the back like a cat. And then flipping the hips and the chin, pulling down, doing cow. And just go back and forth slowly two more times between those two movements. Let's do a runner's lunge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sink those hips forward. Still keep your, your hips in line. Don't let, them, don't let them open up. So it's not like this. Just want to get a little stretch going here. Should feel it on that back leg. Let's switch those feet up. All right, slowly come to a standing position. Just want you to open up. So you're opening up, stretching out your chest. Those hands are coming back as far as you can bring them. Brilliant. Okay, let's interlace those hands in behind the hips. Try to open up. This is great for opening up your chest and shoulders. Especially we're playing lots of video games right now, and you might be slouching a little bit, watching TV and playing video games. This will help open you back up, feel really good, and be able to stand up nice and tall. Speaking of standing tall, let's reach up to the sky and just include a gentle back bend. Perfect. 
Now let's do three meaningful shoulder rolls. So breathing in on the way up and out on the way down. Last one. All right, you did it. Thank you for joining me for today's Grow. I'll see you in the next workout.